you've got the borders and you've got all the angles. But we were able to do it on Saturday. And I think we made 10 or 11 of them on Saturday for the people that were there. And then, I don't have any here, we got one piece over there, but we made, what we did is we used chess, chess pieces as the pawn. So if you do a tic-tac-toe board, you need it nine, you need 10, you need 10 pawns of some nature, five of each, because there's nine spaces, so whoever starts, you know, they might get an extra move. But anyway, so I want to thank, thank Bob for helping us out with that and, uh, and doing it. That was our, that was our fellowship, fellowship we have. The next one I have scheduled for fellowship in here is the, um, is uh, 11 10, November 10th. And what I would like to do, don't know if I can do it, I'd like to do something where we build something from a scroll saw side and we have all kinds of pieces and with, with I know what you're going to say, but you were going to give it to me and you never have. I never saw it. We asked for it last time and you were going to give it to me. Remember you said you were giving me this project that we were going to do together. <laughs> I'm looking at you with I your hand. Yeah, you always raise your hand and tell me, but I've never seen the project. The but project it, you're talking about is a, it's a clock tower that Dirk Bowman gave the club hmm. probably 12 years ago. And it, the, the, the clock stands about this tall. It's the Big Ben clock. Yeah. And uh, he gave it to us as a group project. Yeah, well, and I don't For some reason, we never did it. Uh huh. But anyway, what I'd like to do is I'll do it so we can all cut and then we then we put it all together and when it's done we put it on the wall or put it out somewhere or whatever it is. We did do one like that in Club Eight Three on my several years ago. Yeah. We, yeah. we did one several years ago where everybody took certain parts and made them and, and one one guy brought them all together. Yeah. But if we can do that, like I said, I was thinking we'd do something on Saturday, but I, I'm I'm still open. I'm open for suggestions. This this at the front bit. I'm running out of suggestions, people. I need, I need, some, I need some help. Um, so I've got that coming up. And then I'm, well, I'm on this. Next, next month is 10-1. Is and that is going to be, it's going to be instructor and teacher. I mean, it's, it's going to be instructor and student. So it's going to be George and Marcus. And they're going to. When is that? That is, that is the 10th. What? 10, 10 1. 10 1. October, to October 1st. Oh, really? October 1st. You've been on the calendar since. I'm glad he's preparing for it. <laughs> but I thought that would be interesting. Oh, I was too old for the drive. I thought, be, I thought it'd be interesting to have, have instructor and student do it. If anybody else wants to participate, well, they're going to do intarsia and segmentation because they all kind of go together and they can they can work on one side or the other but I'm looking forward to a, a great program and then we've got whirly gigs and movable things from a scroll saw perspective coming that's going to be that's going to be our November one and then in December we're going to do scroll saw maintenance so that's what we've got anybody else need some more uh, uh, boomerang box tickets I saw some people come in. No, I gotta go get mine. I'm gonna have to do this thing. Let's see. Yeah, make a move. Here, you'll you'll want it. Okay. You'll see what happens. You get boomerangs. Okay. Now, who brought in? I see some stuff over there, Bob. We got some stuff on the uh, show and tell that people brought in, and that's over here. Well, let's go. We'll go here. This right here for those that did. How many were here? How many didn't come on Saturday? Okay, this was the winning piece out of a two by four, a single two by four. I think he used the most two by four of anybody. <laughs> but I had some scraps all the The only bad part about it is the person that made it, who's right over there, Rob, made the comment when he presented. He said. After I got it done, I wished I'd have made it out of real nice wood. <laughs> <laughs> I figured this way the kids won't fight over it. When I'm on. But anyway, that's that's where that was the two that was a two by four contest. Um, now we've got dental floss. In, oops, we got dental floss and toothbrush guy. 
won't stand there. I'm trying to. And this, um, I'm going to say George. <laughs> no, no. Huh? No, no, you're close. Student. Student, yeah. Oh, he brought, the student, I knew student brought in that. But this is, this is, this is his student. He, he's working. <laughs> That's cool. You've created a monster, George. You need a real monster. <laughs> Axel, Marcus, what kind of wood's that out of? Aspen. Aspen, and then what do you got, what do you got, looks like? Walnut and cedar. Aromatic cedar. Boy, he must he, he lets his tongue down there. So anyway, that's good, Mark. That's excellent. Mm -hmm. And let's well, and, and and we know this this is Marcus's, right? Yeah. You've developed an opportunity, Mark. Yeah. And and what's today? Today. Nine ten, right? Yeah. This is signed on the back nine five, so it's fresh off the press. So to speak, it's gorgeous. Uh, walnut, aspen, Marcus heart. Beacon Beacon feet. Uh, yellow heart. Yellow heart. You've developed a monster, George. I guess I helped in it to a production. And I and I know I know for a fact this is what. He is also, this, I saw this on Saturday, this is uh, Marcus's also, this is trying to get him out of the doghouse with his wife. Because his wife says, well, you're out there doing stuff, nothing. But then she found something she liked, I think George, some way, she saw something George likes. Then she re said, I really like one of those wreaths. So Marcus came, went out and spent. He came by the house one day and uh, I was showing him some of my stuff, so I took it on the back porch and she, she wasn't too fond of that all the stuff he was doing. And she said, I kind of like that one, and I like that one. So I, I, I <laughs> ran the pattern for him and said, you better fix this for your wife. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and I think Marcus said on Saturday, I think you said you went to the lumber yard and had him cut some. Yeah, I had some rough cedar on and they cut it. Then I let it sit for I didn't know what I was going to ever do with it. And planed it and dried it. And that's made out of that cedar, uh, poplar. poplar, and yellow heart. Yellow heart. And a lot of sandpaper. <laughs> <laughs> and, and for those who have done it, every one of these is cut out and it's cut flat. And if you come up here and look at it, every one is all tapered. And every one of those slots is all rounded. Did you make the berries? Yes. Yeah. Because it's, I'm trying to get it closer so somebody can you zero in on one of these? The, the little round, round dowel ones, like you make like little dowels and then round the ends of them. Oh, okay. I seen a guy make something like that one time. He took, he cut his stock in those cubes and he made a box. Little box inside the area of the belt sander and dropped the cubes in it. Just come. Oh, sideways on the berries? Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, there you go. But see, each one of those, I mean, Marcus, you have any idea? I would say hours, but I'm going to say days. How long did it take you? I don't know. I get too involved in it and the grass grows. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's, I'm going to set it down. I'm setting it down. I don't want it to roll off. But anyway, that's it. Okay, any more show and tell? I'd like to just say about that. I okay. usually don't like for her to come out in the shop because I like to walk in the house with it and she'll say, oh, that's nice. And yeah. it's over with. This particular day, she brought me a sandwich. And I've been married 50 years and it's been a long time. She brought me one out in the shop. Uh -huh. And what was I working on? She said, oh, I've seen one in here. It'll <laughs> be out here. He wasn't surprised with it. Didn't make it. Didn't help. Okay. Um, yes, sir. Uh, before you go on to the next, I have something here. I do not want to take any of these home. Earbuds. I know Steve's going to need quite a few of them. So take what you want, and I have another jug just like this at home, but it's full. 
So if anybody wants it, take what you want, but I don't want to take any of these home. Uh -huh. Okay, then we've got a thing called 2013 coming around the corner. Okay, and it comes pretty comes pretty fast. We need to know what's going on. Does anybody else want to step up to this spot and do it, or anybody else, or, or comments or questions? Because I know those people that are on the upper level are going to be asking me questions, so I want to know what whether what how to answer. No, we like you up there. That's okay. But anyway, that's just, you know, and then if that's the case, I need program ideas, people. It's tough. It, you know, you I mean, turning, they get all these outside people or they turn bases and they turn this or whatever. Scroll saw, you know, it, it, it's more closer. So we'll, we'll see what happens tonight. Anyway, uh, let's, 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 let's see. Um, opportunities. We saw one opportunity came up before the class. Um, can you hand that to me, please? You know Steve Whittle. Steve Whittle. He's in charge. Can you do it? No, no. 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 Oh. He's coming out of the house tomorrow. Thursday. Thursday. He's on his way to North uh, Carolina. Having something okay. to do. Turning the thing. Okay, now here's. Here's an opportunity that was brought to brought to my ask asked me in my attention. Can you can you get down on this? Or I can show it this way. Okay. He's cutting this is maple, right? Yes. Okay. And they're cutting chess pieces. And through three dimensional. Well he's having a problem because the blade is wandering on the bottom side if we if I turn this. See how much it's wandering? Am I doing okay? I can't, I can't look backwards and look frontward. Okay. But anyway, one thing I told him that would help him, number one, if you look, he doesn't need that much wood to do the chest piece. You see what I'm saying? He doesn't need a block that's this size. So, I took this side off. See, now is, I'm still not, I haven't heard anything. So then if he takes that side off, he decreases his thing by about 30%. And so I think that's going to help them a little bit so the blade won't wander quite as much. And then probably slow it down a little bit to let the, let the sawdust and stuff come out of the track. She's got plenty of tape on it. Um, and then I think you just have to saw slow. You have to let the, you have to let the blade cut the wood. What, what blade are you using? She's using it. She, they, used a, they used, uh, you were doing cherry before and they were using a number nine. For doing the cherry, they're done with the cherry, and now they're doing the maple. And they didn't. He did this one with a five, I think he said. And yeah. I think that may what I'm saying. I think you need to get into that at least seven, seven or nine, up in that range. I think to help. <coughs> so anyway, but that's that's one. But anyway, I you know, it's a lot. That you got a lot of pieces to cut. We're almost done. The cherry's done. Well, that's hey, that's that's a good part. But I'm saying I trimmed those off on my bandsaw. Those blocks and, and I think just you know trim that one and see how much different it does in cutting. I think it's gonna and then come up a blade. Go go to a seven or go to a nine. Really, really you don't have unless you've got some very intricate things on the chest pieces. The nine is not gonna hurt you anything. I don't think you're gonna get, I don't think you're gonna have have no, trouble turning. You can you can make room for the turns. Yeah, you can make room for the turns anyway. Okay, now number two. This past week, the past, not this weekend, between last week and between the weekend before, I've done almost 500 three-dimensional objects. I'm trying to get inventory for my stuff. When the process, I found out a lot of little things. When you're doing something constantly, you, you think. <coughs> Number one, if you have a saw that takes the blade similar to this, you know what I'm saying? If your blade attachment is, I think I can do it better up here. If your blade attachment has a space like that, okay, and then on this side you have a screw, okay, and on this side, this side you have a set screw, okay, and I know all of us have, all of us have done, then the blade is going to come in there. Nice straight blade. It must be one of those spiral blades. Um, 
But anyway, the blade after a while just constantly doesn't want to tighten up. If you're sawing for a long period of time. Stupid. Okay? If you take this set screw and we look at it straight down, there's our set screw. That blade is constantly going through that same position on that set screw. Every time we tighten up, it's in the same position. Okay? When we screw in and out, sometimes it gets to the same position, but if we put a different style blade, it may be an, a sixteenth of a turn or eighth of a turn one way or the other. Well, so easy to solve the problem. Take this set screw, back this away a little bit, turn this set screw one quarter turn. Only one quarter turn. When you turn it one quarter, remember that blade was going through like that. Now what I've got is I've got new surface. I've got brand new surface now. It's almost like sticking glue in there with your blade. It just sticks right there. It's, it's not, you know, it may not have the oil, it may not have whatever, whatever you do, but just one quarter turn. It, it was too simple. But anyway, just try that if, you're, if your blade sets up. That's one thing I found this, week, found this weekend. You might suggest they do that in the top and bottom. Though. Yeah, the then top you'll be out, a little, you ought, you ought out of cock a little bit. But both of them probably need it anyway. But just one quarter. And you can, and you can kind of adjust that a little bit as, as you can, I mean it doesn't, quarter's not very much. Now the other thing that I found is two things. Number one, when you saw 500 three-dimensionals, you know, my fingers get cut. So I've had these and made these, and I said some of you guys used these when we were doing our three-dimensional. But I finally found my lifesaver. My favorite. Okay? Now, when you saw this mini, I don't have a problem holding. I hold, hold a lot of them. When they're down in this position, I don't have a problem. But when you get something that's an inch and a half or inch and three quarters up high, it's a lot of torque on your fingers. There's a lot of torque on the fingers. And, you know, especially, like I said, you're doing chess pieces which are square, so it's still, still a lot of torque. But, this little gadget right here is a lifesaver. I, like I said, I like it for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's quick and easy to function. Uh, I hate to say it, I couldn't find one at Peachtree. Peachtree doesn't have, every, every one I've had before has been, now that it's, now you're watching me on the camera, I can't get it tight. But anyway, um, the other ones, you know, it looked like I was sawing in a canyon. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the arms would be so big it looked like you were sawing inside of a hole. Well this one you're not because you're sawing on the outside. And the nice part about it is once it's tight, you can sit back here and saw. So you don't have to worry about the fingers getting too close. It's still nice and tight. So if I'm cutting this, and see that's the nice part about it is you can, you can cut here. And being it's open on one end, it makes it nice. But see, I can sit out here. I've got a nice, I've got a nice wide platform. You know, I'm almost what three inches, three and a half inches wide. Plus, I can go on these arms, so it doesn't bounce on you, and it makes it real easy to saw. And if you're doing a lot of three dimensionals where they're high like this, it's so much easier to maneuver. Even though I like to do it close, like I do normally. But this, this has been a lifesaver for me. When my fingers got so sore for doing it. I was doing breast cancer awareness um, bird houses, which are about an inch and, three, inch and a quarter high, and then they're three quarter inches on the other side. But see, with this you've got full mo mobility, and you can... Because it's open on one end, it's easier to get in and out. You don't have to continually feed and uh, thread the blade like I do on, on these that I made. 
The other side of the coin, it doesn't seem to be as loose after I've taken that, taken this, this, this saw kerf out, those will loosen up on me. This one, for some reason, maybe the torque on it or whatever stays, but I'm just saying, it makes it so much easier to saw. But if you can find a little one like this, they're, they're a lifesaver for you. Where did you find I found this one at uh, Woodcraft. Usually I can't find them this small. What size is that? Huh? Yeah, your guess is as good as mine. Small. <laughs> I'd say maybe four inches, maybe? No, I don't think so. No, no, I meant, oh, connection out. I, I, I don't think, I think, it'll go wide enough for what I can do. Yeah. Because, see, I can, worst, best I can do is two inches. So if it goes two inches wide, I'm fine. But that's another one. The other one is something that I think George and I ran into when we were here on Saturday. The nemesis cut that everybody hates. And I think George explained it a lot better than I have before. But the nemesis cut. What's a nemesis cut? The nemesis cut is when you cut something and it's like this. You're cutting something and whatever it is and it's like this. You know, and you got a bunch of those. And some people say, oh, that's easy. I'll just come in here and solder the end. I'll come in here and solder the end. I'll come in here and solder the end. I'll come in here and solder the end. Sometimes, when you're doing something, you can't do that. You can't come in. But, what you can do... Use it, a spiral blade. Yes. <laughs> you can use a spiral blade if you want. But, if you've got this here, what you can do is when you're cutting this out, this is... If you know where you're, what, you, what I'm going to call your waist, this is waste in here most of the time. I mean, if you were doing a, what do you call that when you're putting a line in? You know, where you're just cutting a V line. No, a vein. A vein. You're cutting a, cutting a vein, then you couldn't do it. But let's just say for this case, I'm going to call this my waist. Okay? And I think George, I heard George explain it to somebody the best I had heard it. You cut, you cut down here, and we cut, we're, cut, we're going to cut on the line, but I'm going to cut outside right now. So we're cutting down this line, okay? Okay, now we're down to this point. If you go the thickness of your blade <coughs> past that corner, thickness of that blade, thickness, just only the thickness of your, the, the, the width of your blade, which is not much if you think about it, okay? Then what you do is you back up, come out to your waist, turn around, and now your teeth are going this way, and you go right that way. So what you're doing is basically parking your, parking your saw blade back in that curve hole and coming out. I'll see if I can, I'll see if I can do one on here. And probably back up a little more than that too. Because yeah, I guess that I... The tip will break off if you're not too far, if you're not far enough back. Okay. <clears throat> Is that dark enough so people can see it? Mm -hmm. As we were saying, go, go in, now I'm at the bottom. Go approximately just the extra, extra width of the blade, come out and turn. Remember, I'm turning into the waist. This is my this is my waist in here. Inside is my waist. So I'm gonna come out, turn, go back down in my hole. Now, if if this was if this was waste, and I know this is waste, I can do, and I really want a nice nice straight corner. I can do this. Everyone's 
once in a while or whatever. What that does, it gives you relatively straight pieces. How many people have done, done that? Every, it's, I'm probably speaking to the choir, but, but that's, that's a neat way of doing it. Um, now, one more thing. On Saturday, I bought something on Saturday. You know how when you do tile floors, when you put grout down, what do they tell you to do? They tell you to trowel it with one of those things that have all those little holes in the side, you know, so it has little ridge lines and stuff. I got one of these this weekend, right out there. It's a silicone, sil silicon glue brush, and if you, you'll pass it around, this is their sample. And you can see what it does. It was amazing. I didn't get near the squeeze out. You used it? Oh, I bought one and used it, but I'm saying this is their sample out there. But see the see what it does? It it creates that groove just like you would on a tile floor. So when I was pressing stuff down and squeezing it down, I had very little squeeze out because what it was doing, it was brushing and making those grooves, and then when you squeeze down, it was filling those grooves back. So I didn't over glue it, Rob. <laughs> okay, any more, any more comments or things on that? I was trying to do a couple things to, to help. But anyway, okay, that gets rid of that. Now, let's draw this and get this out of the way. And like I was telling them, I'm, I'm, I really apologize. I was hoping I would have a few more items for demonstration. Yeah, I'll let you draw. You can draw your own. You trust him? Me? <laughs> 585. What'd you say? 585. Did you win? Yeah. Hey, that's good though. <laughs> now, whose boomerang box did you win last week? Or last month? Who made it? Uh, It was a box? Yeah, but who, who, who made it? Oh, I'm still on that side of the room. Well, you know what's funny is boomerangs do come back. He did the boomerang box. Okay, for those who don't know, what it is, inside there is something that somebody's made. And so when you got the ticket was drawn, he gets what's in this box. And then he's required next month to put to make something and put it back in the box, okay? Well, last month, he had the boomerang box, and so Rob won it and got a beautiful box that he had made. And you don't have to do that every time, but let's see what, let's see what Rob gave back to you. Give it back to him next month. I mean, that one truly boomerang. And he, he got... Third pl second place or third? Second place. Third place. He got third place on Saturday with a two by four. He made a tea box out of a two by four. No, that was not. I have to say it. He's got a candle holder made out of purple heart. Purple heart. Purple heart and uh, maple. Maple. Yeah, for sure. Wax. Okay. But that's a, what it does is okay now. So next one, he has to bring something in a box. We do tickets and somebody else gets it. So it's just our way of. And that one drew the boomerang back really fast. <laughs> I mean, that one had a big one attached to it. Anyway, so let's see, where are we? Okay, so we got that on the way, got that one. Okay, today's program is going to be on what I'm going to call a uh, toy. It's basically play sets and toys. And play sets and toys. Oh, you didn't make the jewelry box. Oh, yeah. Well, I figured you were confused a little bit. I was making sure we were straight here. No, I thought it was over there with the look he gave me. Um, but anyway, it's uh, play sets and toys. And what I'm going to talk, what we're talking about today is, is it's a it's a methodology or a way that you can use a lot of your scrap that you have left. I mean the nice pieces of oak and, and soft, any what you've got left, you can make stuff that can be very 
presentable for grandkids, grand, whatever they are. And I'm going to try to show you a number of things. My only preference, preface, preface I'm going to make tonight, I'm going to show you a lot of plans and, and different things, but there's one problem I've got. All of those are copyrighted. I can't give everybody patterns. You know, I do a presentation, I can't give patterns to everybody. So these are copyrighted, but I'll, I'll tell you where I got them. So if you want them, and you can get them. And if you got want one, they're not that expensive. And, but I'm going to show you, I brought a bunch of those so we could do that. But I was telling somebody earlier, and I think I told you, is I had a number of play sets that I was going to bring. I've got the plans that I had. I sold them. And so, you know, it was a, one of the catch-22s. I figured I'd sell them. I could always explain them again. But anyway, but here's two, here's, here's two that I have done quite, quite well at that use a lot of different things. Um, for right now, we'll move this out of the way. For right now, um, this is my big Noah's Ark. It's kind of like an oxymoron because it's a big Noah's Ark with little animals. Okay, and here's, here's uh, Mr. and Mrs. Noah. And then all the animals, and then I, I even got a giraffe up here in the top. See the giraffe up here in the top? And if you lift this up, which I have with the dent with the camera and stuff, I won't be able to do it real well. And all my things fell off. Oh, come on. It just lifts out. No, it'll go both ways. But, okay, and these, are, and these are all rings, and they all come apart. So what I'm saying is this, this literally... This ring comes off of here. Then the next ring comes off. But all the animals end up inside, and you can see there's a, still a lot more animals. I think there's 42 animals in this one. But you can see the size scrap that you could, you know. This one happens to be pine, and I made, I made this one out of pine. I have, made, I have made this out of plywood, and it looks, this is, it looks real old and whatever. And then this is just wood, and you make, make the thing, and it's got the two giraffes there, but then you also have a hatch cover here. So it's a, it's a kid thing. And what I'm thinking, this is the, to, the toys that we grew up with, or some of us that are older, uh, grew up with. But nowadays, whenever kids get toys, um, they're always painted and done and, you know, they're you know, electrified and whatever else. And you've got a ramp over here that goes up and down. Anyway, that's the big one. This one's unfinished and with it, intentionally done that way. So if the kids want to paint it, you know, they want to paint the grass green. What is that? It let them do what they want with it, okay? Then we're going to go, then we're going to come, go to this, go to this side. And this is what I call, this is what I call the uh, mini Noah's Ark. It has 24 animals. They all fit inside because they'll go inside there and then this comes off so people can play. And then these are all different woods. <laughs> the animals are bigger. This is all finished with mineral oil and beeswax. So pass those two around. You can feel, you can feel them. What I'm just saying. So they can eat them. Kids can eat them or do whatever. They've sold really well at the craft shows. Both of those have sold really well at the craft shows and done really well. But you can see, you know, you can do that. The other thing is, believe it or not, you know, chicken. You know, kids love these type things, and you can make whole, you know. You know, then here's a little, here's, a, here's an elephant car, here's a shark, here's a frog, airplane. But nothing, what do I want to say, nothing real fancy, fairly durable, nothing on it, kids can play with it. They pick them up at my booths all the time. That and the helicopters go really well. But they're not that difficult to make. The only thing I make, I make everything except for the, the studs I use, which are wood, little wood things, and then the wheels. It's just so much easier to buy wheels than it is to make them all. And you can make them. And then these are done quite well. I, I, these are just little ones. Wheels probably cost more than the, the extra. But I'm just saying. You know, real tiny ones, but I make them out, you know, squirrel cars, here's a, here's a duck mobile, here's an elephant mobile, whatever you want. But I'm just saying, those are little things that can be made out of a lot of what I'm going to call scrap wood that you've got laying around. Because right here, here's walnut, here's cherry, uh, aspen, some more cherry, you know, here's your dove, there's Mr. and Mrs. Noah. Anyway, those are two, two things. 
And those two things are patterns from, now I gotta find those two. Yeah, of course they'd probably be on the bottom, that's how they normally are, right? Okay, here's the two, here's the two patterns. And I'm going to say most of the patterns, the Toymaker Press has them. Toymaker Press has them. When we were, we'll be up on there. We'll show, I'll show you a couple up on there. But uh, fairly detailed patterns. I like them. They've gotten a lot better. They're more line drawing type stuff than they used to be. I've gotten to the point where I do a lot of down, I just download them so I can get them instantaneously. And then I print out a, a set that I have and keep. And they've got it set up in such a fashion now, after I've made comments to them and whatever, that I only have to print maybe pages 8 through 14 and I've got everything I need. You know, I don't have to print the whole book. It's not scattered throughout the book. He puts his patterns and he doesn't lay them on top of each other. I got so mad when he was laying stuff on top of it. But anyway, this is for the little one. And this is, you're looking at maybe, most of the time you're looking at from about eight ninety-five to... I'm going to say $12, which, you know, is not, you can, I'm going to pass them around, but they all need to come back this way, okay? Okay, another thing that's on their website that's kind of interesting, I think there's a new one out, this is volume one, this was 2010, this is 100 toy makers from around the country and the toys that they make and develop, and it's out there for you just to download and whatever, it's free, it's nothing, but you can look at what I'm saying, saying all the different, all the different I mean, if you can't find anything in there, you, you have a problem. But I'm saying this is this is not patterns. This is just toy makers doing their different things. It's another one to pass around. Okay. Now, the other ones that I like, since we're in an arc, seem to be very good. This is called the Happy Arc. The animals are probably about this size. I'll, I'll stay on this side. I'll come over this way. The animals are about this size. Um, so they're fairly big. And if you'll notice what's neat about this, and I see if I can get that back so I can show you. They always show it painted. And they always show it stained or unfinished. So you can see what it looks like. But this is, this is, called, this is called the uh, Grandpa Noah's Happy, Happy Rainbow Arc. But that's another good one. I told you it was going to be a different show tonight. Okay? Here's another one that all of us like, everybody likes, everybody wants. Here's full size train patterns. Am I doing it so you can even see anything? Mm -hmm. But I'm saying. This is this is toy trains and stuff. I want to say this was this was like ten bucks or twelve bucks. They always have some some on sale, but I'm just saying. Um, another one that's always good is boats. People like boats, you know. And 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 we think about things have to be very complicated. They don't have to be. I mean, these are pretty much if you look very blocky type things I'm trying to, but they do what you want they're colored but I didn't have my color printer on but you see what I'm saying about being blocky but that's boats okay I got a new phone I got Okay, now, the other thing you have to have, if you do do, do bolts, you got to have cars. So here's one on cars. It's called, it's called, rock, it's called scroll saw cars. And you say, well, I could do that, but I, I don't know. I do much better from a pattern. Cutting from a pattern, I do much better. Now here's even one. Here's a puzzle. 
There's a puzzle, flat puzzle, that's made into a car. That's what you can see it better here. But anyway, this is this is called this is right this is called cars. See, there's more. But if you look at it, I mean, just for this particular thing, this one right here, three quarters by two inches by six and a half inches. That's the only piece of wood you need. And it's not very big when you think about it. But anyway, that's that one's cars. Okay, now. Okay, I'm trying to get all of those out of the way. Okay, now, if you have boats and cars, what else do you need? Airplanes. 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 Yeah. Okay. And so here's airplanes. You know, so I don't, you know, just like everything, you don't like everything, but I'm saying, you know, it's ways of you know they always show it color they always show it non-color so it gives you some idea but anyway you know just gives you some idea here's the little characters to put in you know make your little the little little characters so there's your airplane Okay, now see if I can find one other one in there. Okay, now if you do, now if you do cars and you do airplanes and you do boats, what else do you have to do? Segways. <laughs> big things. You gotta have trucks. Okay, so here's a big one on dump trucks. And what's funny is this one. Most of these in this particular book, for some reason. These are can be all made on a table saw versus a scroll saw because most of the, all the cuts are straight. They may be angles, but I'm saying there's, they, you can cut off an angle. But anyway, this is a two, two volumes basically. I had to put in two volumes because my things weren't big enough. But there's a lumber truck. Here's a fire department, ambulance, police car. Don't know what that one is. Oh, ambulance. But anyway, this is, you know, if you're looking for something, one of the same it's things that, you know, you can you can do relatively easy. Now, while I'm on my thing, okay, this particular one is called Bobsy Car Kids. Now, remember, I said I can't give you anything, okay? But right now, if you go out onto Toy Maker Press website and put in your email and sign up for their sign up for their newsletter, whatever, this is a free pattern out there. This is a free pattern right now. And this one's 20 some pages, 25 pages. And if you download it, you don't have to print, you don't have to print everything. It'll tell you which pages you need to print for your for your patterns and stuff. But I'm saying this one's out there right now. It's only out there for a couple more days, but but that one's out there. A lot of these I've gotten on it. Now, see if I've got it down. Now, some of you may have gotten this one. Here was here was one that was free. The last free one he did. I think I brought it in when it was. It was this is called the Free Weekenders Full Size Toy Maker Kit. And this was all kinds of different stuff, and it had trees, and it had it had other cars and trucks in it. I'm sorry. Let's see this. And if you'll notice, these are some of his earlier ones. He's gotten on later. He makes them instead of being solid. A lot of the patterns now are line drawings, so they're a lot easier to cut. But anyway, so this that was another free one. So if you sign up, it, there's no cost to it. You know, okay, you get an email from them, but I don't see it as a, you know, if that's what you're looking for, I don't see it as a problem. Okay, now. George, you got to have all these converted line drawings by the morning, aren't you? <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, now. Delta Cat. Yep. It's good at that. 
Okay, now, here's one I had done. I was going to bring it in. This is a star born in Bethlehem. But it's old. But it's, a, you know, it's just pieces. I call them play sets because the kids can put them however they want them. And they can play with them. So this is more religious. It usually sells fairly well for me. Um, this is another one that's, that's very simple, but it sold well for me. Is Dude Ranch. And if you look, the patterns in this one are very simple. Am I in, I'm in the wrong spot here. Okay, now, you see, see the patterns in this one. That's one pattern. Come on. And there's the other pattern. And you just make as many as you need to make what you need. What's neat about this is you see the horse and see that right there? Okay? The man is legs far enough to, so they, they ride the horse. So they can ride the horse like they're doing here, see? They can get on the horse. And so, and then that's one. Then this one, that's only a few pages. Then, then there's this one, which I know we all see. This one's a very good one too. Train. Remember we had the train book that went around this is what's called a carpet train because there's no wheels. You make it out of two by four roughly. Make it out of a two by four. Use uh, dowels to put it together. And then these are these are little people that are riding in it. Engineers basically fix these people pop in and out, and and it just and it just glides on the glides on the carpet. They call it a carpet train. Let's see what else is in here. I had two or three that I put in here. There's a bet maybe a better look. With the color. What's the name of that book? That that one is called carpet. That's called the carpet scooter choo choo. This one this one this one's got more than one book in it because they're all real thin. So I didn't I didn't put them all in one. And then I've got my favorite one. I can't make them fast enough. It's only two pages. It was another freebie that you signed up. I mean, he gives them and they're out every once in a while, and I like them. This is Santa and his sleigh. Same principle as before. You got here's a Santa train, which is basically a carpet train. Has no wheels. It just slides on the carpet. And then here you've got three reindeer, the sleigh, and then Santa. Simple pattern. Make them out of walnut and whatever, and they do very well. But anyway, that's that's that one. Okay. Now here was another freebie when I signed up. This was this was Easter time, so this was his Easter train. You know, had the rabbits and the eggs and stuff. Sorry, I'm boring you. I'm seeing some people fall asleep over here in the side. So, okay, now I'm gonna skip it. To over here, Scroll Saw Magazine, you had the farm play set, you know, which gives you basically the horses, the fence, the chickens, the goose, the hen house, the little farmer, but it's all in, inside, of your scroll, in, inside of your Scroll Saw Magazine. But I'm saying that was the farmer's play set. If someone wants to take that date down, they can go look. Um, I might as well check. Here's, here's Creative Woodcrafts. How do you keep up with all these books? <laughs> <laughs> Set them over there. I'll tell you one thing, when you're missing something. Okay, now this is, now this is, um, this is Creative Wood. This is the only two books I've used. I use Scroll Saw and this one, the two that I use. But in this one's kind of interesting, is same people that did all those other patterns for us, they did this one and put it in the magazine. It's a hockey set. You know, it's made very similar. They're all the pieces are the same. I mean, all the players are the same, and you make it, make a little hockey rink, and you make a little thing. But you know, just another one. It's, it's in in the book. You can get the pattern off the web from them, but it's there. Okay, now, now here's another one. 
This is this is called Ziggy, which is kind of fun. What this is is you can take take it and you can make. Remember when you were lit? Remember? Oh, there's a number of us in here. Remember when you're little, you found these stacking toys that were all the same. You could see how high you could stack them, or if you could make them wider and there. And see, kid, they don't have that stuff anymore. I mean, not you know what I'm saying. So you can make those. You know, make ten or twelve or fifteen of the little men. You know, sell them the pack. You know, give them to give them to you as gifts and stuff. That's what I mean. You're looking at. And then this one, this one has. Um, I got some little stack ones. Yeah, they buy another name and they're little men. But uh, my wife keeps them in a box in the closet. When the small kids used to come, grandkids come to see us, that's the first place they went. They yeah. ran and got that box brought and they just stacked those things up on the card table. But this one has a bunch of different. If you can see, it has a bunch of different animals and uses these. It uses these stacky things that are on the front. As I'm going to say, it's an acrobat thing, but they're also the things that drive the trucks and the cars and whatever. So you can make them for going there. But this one, see, and they got the little people. You know, real tough to make. You know, little doll, and you put them in there, and you can leave them. You can leave them with nothing on them. Leave them no face. Let the kids. Let the kids paint them. Or you could paint them. You know, if it depends on you. I'm not an artist. So, but I'm just saying that's a possibility. But I'm just saying, here's hound dogs, and those are those are little puzzles. And they can be glued, whatever you want. But anyway, that's a, kind of an interesting one. Okay, now we can get into. Okay, this one's done very well for me. This is Penny's. This is Penny's little pony stable. Okay. My problem is cutting it to so many pieces, it takes me a long time to cut them. So right now I've been cutting whatever I can cut. But I'm saying, this one, every all the pieces are in individual pieces, and you put them together, you put, you put, the kids put them together. So you, you make X amount of fence, which is just basically a, a block with two holes bored in it, and you make those little block fence. Then this is two sides, two sides, and they fit on top in the slots for the, for the barn. And then you've got all the horses. All the horses are basically the same. You've got some a little smaller. And all the people are cut out the same way. So any of the people can be riders on the horses. But uh, then it also has a horse trailer, which I'm going to call it the same as the carpet carpet train. It has no wheels. It just runs on the carpet. So, but you have, a, you have the car, and then you have your horse trailer, and you can have a horse in the trailer. So. But the kids, kids at that age just love, I mean, they go and, see, there's the, Here's that piece. Let's see if I can find. See, there's the car. See, he's going to line drawings now. See, there's the horse trailer. But and there's the pieces and so it goes together. But I'm saying that's a fun one. If you got somebody who likes horses, rides horses, you know what I'm saying. Okay, then. This is somebody that, this is the old, back in the old days, remember when you did cruising? This is Wild Willie's Cruising Diner. So, you know, it's all small. They're all basically made the same way. They're all basically made the same way, but you just adjust the shapes just a little bit. I mean, the, the, t the building of them is the same. And you just adjust the shapes, and it gives you all the different cars. So there it is. There it is in color, and there it is in natural. But that's kind of a fun one, and you can. And the kids, you know, it's, they get in a box, and they can make all kinds of whatever they want to make with. Okay, now some of the first ones I bought from him, I bought books from them. I'm, I bought a lot of stuff. I mean, we got some deals and got some free ones, but I'm saying, um, here's, this is like a little village, but this is a book. This is truly a book. I don't like the patterns as well this way. They're harder to function with, whatever, much easier, and I can get them much faster. I don't have to pay for postage, you know, to get them. But I'm saying, this is, but they do have really nice full color books that they do. But this is like a little city, so you can make a little city. And you don't have to do all the parts. You just do the pieces you want. 
This is one that goes very well with kids, and I think some of the patterns out of here, I know I cut at least 75 or 100 that Saturday for Toys for Tots. This is the dinosaur book. This is dinosaurs. All different types of dinosaurs, but they all have the legs. Remember, somebody was doing the gluing of the legs. Remember, they, somebody was doing all that gluing and adjusting. Okay, then this is a fun, this, and I got, then if you have, if you have, if you have um, dragons, you got to have, you got to have the, you got to have the maidens and the, and the things to go with it, you know. And so you got the knights and the maidens and the, see if I can get, where's that, where'd I get it? Okay, I'll stay right here. I know this is not my normal presentation, but I was trying to do something different if I could. Anyway, that's one. And then another fun one that I've had fun with, I've only made one of these. This is it's a little bit tougher because it's more. This is, uh, let's see what the proper name of this one. This is uh, Persi Pers Persnickety's Puzzle Pirate Ship in Treasure Island Cove. So it's a pirate ship, and then all the auxiliary, auxiliary items like the little rowboats and the cannons and, 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 the, and the dock and the house and the, all the maiden and all the little stuff. But I'm just saying, that's why I call them play sets. You make them out of small, small bits of wood. Don't, you know, you know and some of the stuff, if you're doing a lot of painting, you don't have to use real good wood. You know, but if you're using, should be... Whoops. See, there's what it would be in natural. But anyway, so that's that's a fun one. That's a pirate ship and the pirate cove and whatever. And I, I think that one was about I think ten ninety five or something. But what I'm saying, if you if you know what you're getting. Now, here's another book. I don't know if I don't I don't think I got it back there. This is natural wooden toys, and it has a lot of different things. It has it has uh, um, this goes through the whole thing and it shows. It gives you it gives you a, a safe finish and what dyes to use, how to use dyes that are not. It'll, you'll go through in here and using basically food coloring and that type of stuff. But then it's got the toys in it. It's got a, it's got fairy tales forest, farm, ocean, and city. And so, there's your ocean. Am I close? Oops, stupid mic. How about there? <coughs> See that cow, I think. I knew the rooster's off. The rooster's on that table is out of here. There's some little tractors. Here's the farm, you know. Not quite as detailed as those other ones. I'm sorry, not holding the right spot. Here's 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 the. Uh, it's a nature stacker. There's a tree. There's a hedgehog, and the mushrooms. That's another thing that kids kids love the fairy tales. So you can make wands. You know, you heart wands and moon wands, so they can knight everybody and make magic. You know what I'm saying? Put a little dial stick in it. You know, cut the cut the heart or cut the star out of a piece of piece of oak or hardwood and you put a little dial in it and they've got this and it becomes a weapon. Well yeah, it can be. Let's see. Keep little brother. And here's and here's 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 uh, here's the castle with all their people. And then he shows how to how to do how to paint, how to use natural polishes and then how to use um, this is kind of interesting. Making the purple using cabbage, using lettuce to make the green. You know, coming over here and using berries. You know, they get stains in our stuff. They're using that to make to make their paints. There's a color using coffee to make the cup. You know, so just you know, I mean, so it can be done if you want. I don't go to that quite that extreme, but. It's there. 
Um, another one I just kind of picked up somewhere. I don't know what happened to it. Somebody just gave it to me. It's just 550 patterns. But there, you know, there's a lot of little ones, but you can put them together. Oops, get the right way. And I think. Now we got some of George's over here. Here's the kangaroo pull toy. And then George has got one here. George, show us your show us yours. Kangaroo. Your kangaroo. This is my pull toy. And it's got wheels and it pulls in the in the way the the way the uh, legs are attached, it goes up the arms go up and down. Okay? Now George has got another one over here. Well, most of you are seeing this one. This is <laughs> Just for like some of the guys in here. <laughs> I felt like that Saturday night. It's pretty, pretty good for the kids, not too good for the adults. They hit, they hit that sound over and over and over. But. <laughs> He's running. Skipping the night, yeah. But it, has, it has to be adjusted just right. The way to, the way to adjust it, it's either, either the feet or, or this part has to be sanded. And, uh, you came down the first time as best it's come yeah, down the long time. Oh, I should have quit when I was ahead. Okay. And then these... I, I didn't know what he was going to do tonight. I just brought a few things. Okay. Those, those are right. Everybody's had these. You can make them, you can make them and this could be hung from the ceiling. What you could do... No, you if you have to work it from the top. Yeah, if you wanted to. Well, you could do it when I'm just saying, but you could... You could I've seen it go... You can put your, put your foot on that. Just put your toe in that bottom part and it'll climb up. I've got a pattern now that I was going to work on. It's got a little Santa Claus on it. Painted up for Santa Claus. No, I've done it the other, I've done it where this where this was solid, where you had a string here, a string here, and looped it, and this this held up like this. Oh, you can reach hold up this, and do hold it. this hold this like that, and then instead of this on the bottom, instead of this on the bottom, you put a uh, you put a bead on this side and a bead on this side, so this guy couldn't come through. And then what you do is you go like you go like this. And that, well, that's got to move a little bit. You see what I'm saying? That's got to twist. See, because you put you put the string here, and, and it's and it's at a point. This thing rocks back and forth, so you can make them, you can make them climb also. If that thing rocks back and forth, you can make them climb. But I'm saying that's both. That's two ways. And then coat hangers. Yeah, you know, trying to teach kids to hang the clothes up. This this helps a little bit. Make coat hanging. They'll they'll more likely to hang them up. And, uh, <laughs> you need my quarter, huh? Yeah, I need I need your quarter. Dang it. You put a you put a coin you put a coin in there, you see it's got a solid solid bottom. This is called a disappearing quarter? Yeah. He can he's got it, it's full. You see it's still solid. Get a lot of quarters that way. <laughs> All gone. <laughs> Of course, this, you're talking about your tic-toe tats that's over there. This, that's what this is. You store them in there, and then there's your, your X's and your O's. You, you play tic-tac-toe, tic -tac is that what it is? Yep. Yeah. yeah. I just brought those along because I wasn't sure what he had tonight. He said to bring whatever I had. But, uh... Well, you made it quarter. <laughs> made it quarter. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, well, <laughs> I got I got something else in my pocket. Okay, now a lot of these a lot of these uh, magazines and stuff I got at Toy Maker Press. That's where I, I mean I got a lot lot there. I found I like their pattern. You know you get some patterns you like and some patterns you don't like or you get people. The patterns I get from him are usually very good patterns. Uh, if I have any problems with them, I call them and and. He fixes them or adjusts them, you know, you know, lets me adjust them, fix them, and I always do fun. But another one I found, if you go out to craftsmanspace.com, I'll write it on the board.
Um, figured you like this. There's about a thousand patterns out there. A thousand toy patterns out there. Okay, another one is Okay, and then another one is, I thought you'd like these. Okay, you got it up there for me, thank you. If you look on here, that's that's Toy Maker Press that I have up on here right now. See if I can see if I can maneuver. See if I can maneuver around. If you'll see up on the top up here, up on the very top, see can you see? Uh, see I can't even see it. There it is. See right there, that's that one I told you you could get free. That's the free toy plan download. About once a quarter, about four times a year, he has free, I mean, plans that he sells, he'll, when a new one comes out, he'll put it up there as free for a, a certain period of time. And all you got to do is put your, put your email address in that little slot there, and he, and he downloads the pattern to you. And what I'm saying, you, you know, I get him, I download every one I see that's free. And when you do that, okay, he sends me an email. Maybe once a week or twice a week I get an email. But I, I know where it's coming from. I, I don't have a problem with it. He tells me what he's got in special this week. He may have a pattern. He may have uh, uh, the, uh, the farm. Instead of being $8.95, it's only $5 or something. So, but anyway, so he's got that. Okay, and then if you come over here down the side, Here's, here's big trucks. This is one he, he was doing just recently as a battleship. Let's see if I can find out how to get, or maybe I can get this one. See the battleship? If he had somebody, some niece, niece, or even niece or nephew that was into ships or battleships or whatever and wanted to do that, there's a battleship with all the, you know. And it's not, what I want to say, it's not, not super fancy, but more gives them, they can they can figure out what it is. You know what I'm saying? They can they can make it whatever they want. Um, but there's a battleship. Okay, and then we come over here. That's this is a dinosaur one that we did. I think this will do it. I think here. These are all the different ones you saw most of those tonight. I think there's the boat one. There's the other one. There's the city. Here's the city one that we were that I passed around last. <coughs> the one pattern I don't have and I really want. I had, I had a chance to build it. I'll, I'll see if I can go back and find it now. It's uh, down here toward the end. It's a, uh, but there's, there's the one that's on the table. The bottom one's on the table. Uh, I can't, for some reason, it's not on there. Let's see. Let's look at this one. All right, here we are. Okay, there's, there's my... That's what you got on the table. There's your boat, animals. There's your art, and here's the stain running. Okay. There's the other. There's two other ones. Here's the little one. That's the little one right there. That's the one that's over there. Um, okay. Now, yeah. Okay. And here's. That's the other one I was showing you. You can see the size. Size, you know, bigger for kids or whatever. Um, that's where you got it there. Now let's see if I can get back. Okay, now let's go here. I think this is it. Yeah. So there's your, the other one I wanted to get. Should be down here at the bottom. See, there's the hockey one I told you. See, it was in the article. Um, 
Whoops, that's Penny State. I'm sorry. It's hard to see this. This. Uh, okay. Here's. Here's. There's. There's the hockey rink. Remember the hockey one I showed you? It was in the mag Skull Cell magazine. Okay. Now let's get. This is one I don't have, which would be good to have. Um, I know we do well. Right down here. Dollhouse. With all the little doll furniture and all the little people. See a simple blocky, blocky type dollhouse. You know, three story, this is two story, really three story with the balcony. But then they've got all the, um, let's see, if, let's see if this will do us anything. That's not, that's not done any for me. But anyway, that's, that's some of the stuff that's out there. It's available. Um, to me, I, it's it's the kids like it. Um, it makes a good gift. You can make it relatively inexpensive. Um, you can do a lot of them where you don't have to go to the store and buy anything. You don't have to go any. You don't have to go buy any wheels. You don't have to buy anything. I mean, it's just straight lumber, straight straight cuts, straight blocks, or whatever. There's one one that's what's kind of cool is uh, if you like real fancy boats. Yeah. But anyway. There's a lot of sites out there, a lot of things to see. There's a lot of toys out there. There's a lot of free patterns that I showed you there. Um, anybody else have any good ones? Good thing. Yes. Those two I gave you on the desk. Yeah, okay. I think Marcus should buy those. Okay. No, Marcus doesn't need to buy them. This one's children's furniture. And this is, this is like earth book. And I'll tell you one thing, though. You can build these, and these are these take a while to build. You know, they're nice. They're really nice. But I'm just saying, the nice part about these, you can build them relatively quick. Uh, they're simplistic. Let the kids have imagination or whatever. It's your choice of what you want to do. Um, let's see what else. I have a question. Huh? When you put the wheels on the cars, the little vehicles, I make a lot of the little pocket cars. What kind of glue do you use? What kind of glue? I use very little, and I use eyelids. And what I do is I squeeze them on. I squeeze them on. Do you put it on the axle, or do you put it on the whole? I put it. On, I put it. I put it on the end. I put it on the end of the. If this was my, if this was my dowel, I put it on the end, and then. If that was my wheel, it was going in. That was the hole it was going in. Mm -hmm. I take it, I put a drop of glue right in that, right in that hole. And then I just take my axle and, and, and usually just go like this with my finger and then put it in and push it through and then wipe it. So that's where it gets straight. And then when I hand these to my customers, I always tell them I have to, I have to go through, uh, they have to go through the, the shop. Just like a new car, they have to go through a new shop, so I, have to, I, check, the, I check the wheels to make sure they're not stuck. Because if I'm, if I'm taking them to shows and stuff, especially these, they'll, they'll get, you know, I get a little bit of glue just on the back side of that, and it, it adheres, and I don't, you know what I'm saying. So I always make them before, and I can usually get them, and they do a fairly good job. And these, these have done fairly well. Um, believe it or not, these are in that far, so those wheels don't come off. I mean, it doesn't go all the way through? No, because <coughs> these are pegs. Okay. Can't peg with a head on it, right? These are pegs with heads on them. And so I and they're tapered a little bit. That's what I like to use for these. This these are these are truly dolls here. This one, this one is a peg. I keep it. Helicopters made the same way. That book. It's in that one book. It's in the what? I'm missing a lot of books. Stay back there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's hoarding them right there. Them but the other one is the <laughs> helicopters like this. But you'll see all I did is drill two holes and then hit it, hit it with that. This is a piece of oak. I just I just cut it, you know, trimmed it, 
Um, imagination, kids love them. No windows, no no cuts, you know, that type of stuff in it. While you're on the topic of the glue, before you get too far off of that, okay. uh, Tech Bond has a fairly new glue out. It's, a, it's called a molding Sorry. glue. I thought they did uh, not. Yeah, you know, it's not in wide distribution right now, but they do have it here in the store. Mm -hmm. But it's called a, a tight bond molding glue that I, based on what it, my experience so far is, it's almost identical to the Eileen's glue. Okay. But, uh, and, I, and I, like I said, I hate, uh, um, Carl put me onto it, but I'm bad, especially, how many people, are how many people have done three-dimensional birdhouses? Okay. And you make the three-dimensional birdhouse, then you've got to put the put the perch in, and then you got to then that stupid bird has to sit on that perch, and it's always been a pain. I can do them just like that now, with that Eileen, not the quick dry, but the fast hard tack, because I basically take I'm using for my perches. I apologize for those people who understand. What they are is three, what you do is take a block of wood, just like we had for that chest piece, and you cut it once, and you cut it again, and you end up with a birdhouse. You end up with a birdhouse because you put a hole in it. And now it can be hung, it may have it may have a stand on it or whatever. And then what you do is you have a hole in it where you put a perch on it. Well, I'm, I'm, using, I'm using bamboo skewers as my, as my perch because it's the right size. They're, I got a whole stack, whole thing of them for, what were they, a couple bucks, Marcus? They weren't much. Okay, the nice part about them though is they're skewers that have a pointed end. And so I always cut off about this much where the point is. And then I use that as my glue, glue spreader, okay? But what's nice about it is I can take the birds. Oh, when I was cutting out of those birds the other day, remember I said drill a hole? I don't drill a hole anymore. I just I just cut it in so it has the same has the same diameter as the perch. Take that, turn it over, take just put a little of that tacky glue in there with that with the skewer, put it on there, done. I mean it's done. I can I can set it sideways and it won't the bird will not fall off. The bird will not move. But I'm saying so that tacky glue has made it's it's been a lot of help. And that right there was really good. I was doing a bunch of of uh, Three level puzzles, you know where you do, where you do, the bottom layer is this big, the next layer is this big, the next layer is this big, and the next layer is this big, but they're stacked together. And when what you do is you put in all, all the outside borders on, starting with the small one on the bottom and the big ones on top. Well, I just did the glue on and spread that glue like with that it made those tracks in it. Put the pressure and set. I had very little squeeze out. And I had glue over the whole thing, and so they, that, and then I just ran under ran under hot water and got got rid of it. That's that silicone brush I got this got on Saturday. Um, any questions on toys in general? It's fun. I know everybody's got. How many people have made a lot of toys? But did anybody learn anything tonight? Mm -hmm. I mean, I presented. And that's not my normal way. I usually like to saw or do stuff, but. I figured this would be better and showing showing a little bit. We, that's fine. We're we're cool right now. But um, but next next month is going to be um, segmentation in intarsia. And I know if you said you wanted a certain thing, I'm sure that they would show you how to make a certain thing. Or there's questions that you have or opportunities you have. What kind of woods to select? How to select the woods? How to round them? How to shape them? How to do all that stuff? George is going to let us know how to do that. And George is also going to bring his his funky thing that some people got uh, his glue holder that holds the glue upside down, so it's always on the spot end. And uh, some of them got some of them won those a couple Saturdays ago. Yeah. When they drew their tickets or whatever. But anyway, so uh, but that's good. Anything else? I need programs. If I'm going to be up here, I need programs for 2013, and I need some people to do programs, to help do programs in some nature. What What do you want to see? What What things you want to do? I know somebody that's going to do a program for me in 2013. He doesn't know it yet. 
but he's going to do he's going to do a he's going to do a program on scroll saw boxes. I've heard him tell me that. He whispered that to me. <laughs> <laughs> that was you. In 2013, you're doing a program on scroll saw boxes. How did you scroll saw boxes? December 13. Huh? No, 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 no. He's doing it. In, 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 in. And what, what other topics do you want to see? We've got a couple minutes. What, what other topics do you want to see? What, what, what other aspects do you want to see? I mean, I know I covered toys and play sets and stuff. I mean, we can narrow it down if you wanted to, but... If you want to, on a Saturday in 2013, we can do one of those cloth deals on the board for a Saturday class. What kind of clock? You know, the, like we did a demo a few months back. The, the, Steve, what do you call it? Fat quarter Fat power. Quarter. That's it. We can do that on a Saturday class if you want to. We can do that. I mean, with the cloth and stuff? Mm -hmm. We can do that. I've, I've done well on that. If anybody wants to. Um, what do you want to do? What do you want to do in November? At the how many people are going to come to the November fellowship class if they're able? I'm able. Okay, I heard that. So we got a few people anyway. But I'm saying we'll try to do something. I think we had a good time. We had plenty of plenty of saws. We're going to try. We're trying to purchase <coughs> purchase a couple more for us. I put my uh, things in at the board meeting. Because they've got, what, six or seven lathes. So I figured we could at least have a couple more scroll saws, maybe. So they're, they're out there looking for them right now. So we'd have a few more. Because it's, it's no fun to have a, have a fellowship class if we don't have saws to saw in. And I think a lot of people, I saw a lot of people doing three-dimensional stuff um, at the last time. That was really good. I mean, they, they enjoyed it. It's a, it's, there's an art to three-dimensional cutting. Uh, that's my that's my fun fun thing to do. Just like there's an art to intarsion, he's caught on. Mm. You've taught him well. But anything else? Well, I thank you for coming tonight. I appreciate it.